Hi, in this video, I will show onboarding of VanEdge device with ZTP or PNP process. Upon boot up, the VanEdge device contacts VBond orchestrator to establish a secure DTLS control connection. The VBond information can either be configured manually via CLA on VanEdge device using an IP address or resolvable domain FQDN or can be obtained automatically through the PNP or ZTP process. The VBond orchestrator, upon successful authentication, establishes a secure DTLS control connection and then shares vManage and vSmart controller IP addresses. At this time, the VBond orchestrator will inform the other SD-WAN controllers, that is vManage and vSmart, vSmart to establish or expect a control connection request from the VanEdge device. The VanEdge device, upon learning the vManage information, initiates a control connection to the vManage, vManage server. So, so, following a successful authentication, a separate secure DTLS or TLS connection is established. vManage, based on the device template, at, device template attached to the VanEdge device, provisions the configuration using the NetConf protocol. The VanEdge device also establishes a parallel secure DTLS or TLS control connection to the vSmart controller. The VanEdge device establishes OMP adjacencies and shares local route information with the vSmart controller. The vSmart controller, based on the defined policies, calculates and disseminates the routes. Security and policy information to all VanEdge devices using OMP updates. Overlay Management Protocol or OMP is responsible for establishing and maintaining the overlay control plane. Before going, further, before going to further process, let us check our inventory. We are having total 8 VanEdge devices, authorized R8 and deployed R8. You can also see here, there are 11 control connections which are all up and there is no partial control connection or no control connection which is down. And there is a full WAN connectivity, that is 7 sites are fully connected, that means uh, 2 WAN edge devices are part of same site. Now let us go to uh, device dashboard or device tab. So what I will do is I will upload a new uh, WAN edge list using serial file.wiptella. So I will browse here. I am having a serial file onewiptellacom I will select that and we will upload that file just q ok while doing that you can see here there are 8 out of 12 van devices are duplicate so there are so the new entries will be the 4 new van devices so i will go ok and you can see here in the new entries there are 1 isr 4221 that has been added so now i will go to certificates in the certificates, I will just validate ISR 4221. Let's validate. I will give OK. Then I will send it to controllers. Let's this process get uh, successful. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I will go to main dashboard. There you can see there are total uh, 12 van edges now and authorized are 9 and deployed is 8. So the one which we have authorized now after the PNP or ZTP process should get added to the deployed and the deployed will become 9 and you can see here it will change us from 8 to 9. Now we have 8 van edges in the st fabric that will become 9. Now let us go to device itself, uh, that is VanEdge uh, device, ISR 4221. What it is uh, trying to do here, it is trying to configure a new admin password. So the router's name is just a router. Meanwhile, I will just check show IP interface brief. Uh, there are no IP addresses that has been assigned or configured. So on the loop pack, we have one IP that is by default it will come when in the factory default configurations. So now 
I will just check show IP route. Uh, there are now no routes in the IP routing table. And now again, I will just Q show IP VRF 11 route. Show IP route VRF 11. You can see there is no VRF 11 that is available or there is no routing table for VRF 11. So <clears throat> what I will do is I will uh, just go and try to attach a template to the ISR4221. So I already have a pre-configured template. So let us go and attach it to the device. So we have one ISR4221. Let us attach to the device. So what I can do here is uh, if you want to edit the template, you can go and edit it here. So I will give the host name as uh, IS of double two one one, and I will give system IP as one ninety two dot one ninety two dot one ninety two dot nine, and I will configure site ID as nine. Okay, I will leave everything as it is. I will not uh, shut down any interface. Let us shut down one of the uh, v, uh, VPN five one two interface. That is SVI interface, and update it and. Let us go and configure it. Before configuring, if you want to check what configurations uh, you are pushing to this device, you can just check it in the config preview. And this is what the configuration I'm going to push. Uh, system IP, all ID, site ID, right? And also the organization name and what is my vbond. My vbond here is an FQDN. That is vbond.emc.local. And apart from that, uh, I'm going to configure the interface uh, in the ST1 that is interface kick 000 as a business internet link or color as business internet link and kick 001 with color as public internet. Okay, let's configure the device. Uh, once configurations are pushed, it will be scheduled until uh, our device gets onboarded. Okay, let us go again onto the main dashboard. Uh, you can still see this authorized or 9 and deployed or 8. So what I will do here, uh, there's an upstream router. Uh, on the upstream router, I have configured EHCP. I will uh, unshut that interface, which is connected directly to um, ISO 4221. This is an, our upstream router. So I'll go to the interface. I will just give a no shit and once and once we give a no shit what happens is that uh, gig 000 will get an IP address now you can see the uh, link has came up right so this is where the uh, link came up and now it will get an IP address once it will get an IP address and the uh, information of DNS you can see here uh we have received an ip address of 172.16.10.13 and it also got the dns server ip that is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. uh, now pnp process has just now started let us wait for some times to for pnp process to get complete so you can see here uh, when the pnp process got started uh, this router is trying to contact the hcp helper.cisco.com uh, using the PNP process. Let us uh, wait for a few, few more minutes. Meanwhile, I will pause the uh, video such that the PNP process gets completed. Okay, uh, the PNP process is successful. Uh, I will just show um, this particular Vanage got its organization name and uh, vbond IP address that is 172.16.1.111 on it is trying to it, it got it on gigabit, gigabit ethernet 0000 that means that it will try to establish and control connection via gig 000 so uh, you can see here 
uh, vSmart peer there is a vSmart whose uh, system IP is 192.192.192.121 so it has established and control connection with vSmart and the state is up right and further if you go down uh, so uh, you can see here and the templates has been pushed you can see uh, here using on this uh, using this particular v manage admin uh, logs you can see here it is uh, configuring via netconf right using the netconf protocol so now uh, let us go and check on the v manage uh, dashboard itself uh, on the v manage you can see here there are now, now nine vanages right earlier authorized were nine but deployed were eight now it is authorized and deployed both are nine right so now uh, let us go to the device itself console so you can see here the console earlier the host name was device now it is iso 4221-1 which we have configured uh, during our uh, template push so what i will do is i will just check show ip uh, interface brief uh, you can see here we have a lot of uh, other IP addresses that has been configured. If you go up, those uh, IP addresses were not there, right? Uh, only one IP address was there that is on the loopback 65528, that is 192.168.1.1. Uh, that is an factory default IP uh, that we used to, uh, that we will get when we'll get these uh, uh, vanages shipped to our places. So uh, we have IP address configured on gig 000. Uh, this I, we got from the DHCP server. Whereas the other IP we have configured uh, when, when we push the template. And you can see here the system IP is 192.192.192.9. That also uh, we configured when we push the template. So uh, we have VLAN 14. Uh, this VLAN 14 is part of VPN 11. Uh, let us check the ip routing table when you go show ip route uh, you can see here we have a static route for default uh, gateway and we have uh, other ip addresses information uh, so let us check uh, ip uh, route for vrf11 or vpn11 so you can see here we have got uh, three Uh, subnet information uh, network information that we have learned from the OMP protocol so M indicates that has been learned from OMP protocols so uh, let us try to ping uh, to any one of the IP 192.168.100.1 that has been learned from OMP uh, sorry I have to give a VPN 11 since that is in the uh, VRF 11 we I have to give VRF 11 The ping is also successful. Uh, so this is the end of our video. Uh, thank you for watching this video.